Welcome back to Nullius. Now these medium furnaces too are being produced and I can actually put them to use. Let's see what recipes they offer. I guess also this methane to graphite and hydrogen recipe, although I don't know whether that's a good thing to do at the moment. But definitely these aluminum recipes, I think those are new, if I'm not mistaken. Alumina 2. And aluminum ingot 2. And they are not offered in the previous versions of furnaces. So maybe I should include those in the aluminum production. And I should include output chests. With a limit, obviously. And that limit might be... Possibly 20 for now. I will steal some so they can produce more. And I'm still interested in increasing the number of yield modules I can have. I will just set a limit with the logistic network. Fifty. And then I need more logic circuits. Those are logic circuits. I guess I don't need too many labs. Transformers. I guess they are needed in substations. to go a long way to those logic circuits and maybe I will try building them in a bigger assembler small assembler too as it currently okay I can't build them in the bigger assemblers so I might just have to build more smaller assemblers. I do have those yield modules, so I can make more of them. That definitely helps. And I need aluminum wire, that's probably the limiting factor. Might just use these slower inserters here. I wonder if these insulated wires are used anywhere. Ideally they would be taken away to places. Anyway, now I will go towards the aluminum production lines and see if I can improve something there.
What are those? I guess this is the new aluminum carbide reprocessing or is it the old one? I guess it's the only version of that. And there are still many other new things that I need to do at some point. Quite overwhelming sometimes to see all these recipes, but there is no aluminum carbide at the moment. So I need to make more, apparently. Or maybe deal with other things in a better way. I might build a production line here. Or something. I guess these kinds of furnaces are better than those. First I might deal with making more alumina. 4 to 3, 6 to 5, I guess that's definitely an improvement. Just need water and a wastewater connection. And maybe I need to produce more of this aluminum hydroxide. There doesn't seem to be enough crushed bauxite arriving. Or is it? Can I make flotation cell too? Then I would be able to introduce more um, yield modules. I could make flotation cell too. I guess I could order those. I guess I'm ordering those, but... Oh, I'm not ordering anything right now, that's a problem. And I'm in a not logistic zone. And now I still don't have flotation cell too. I guess I need to build those if I don't have them. No results found, okay. So I guess that's something for later. But still, I would need more crushed bauxite. Where does the bauxite crushing happen? Is it up there? Yes. And I can introduce yield modules there. I have only four. Not sure if that's so good then. Could use better crushers. Would have to build them first. There's so much I need to improve and... I guess I can't really prioritize anything. Where could I connect wastewater to? I guess down there and then I just waste it into the lake. And where would I get the water? Probably from there. Thinking of rotating these, but maybe I don't have to. I might just try to build those now. Oh, 
How big are the beacons? They are small. And they do have a big reach. But at the moment they can only do speed and efficiency. Yes, this will be the inputs, and down there will be the outputs. So this will be wastewater, and below will be water. The order didn't really matter, I think. Now we have water connected, and then I will just connect the wastewater. At least I think this is wastewater, yes. Now we just need other things. Aluminum hydroxide. I think I will try to prioritize using it here, because this process is more efficient. It makes more alumina for every aluminum hydroxide. I wonder if I should just use tunnels there and introduce those power poles there. So every three pipe outputs there will be a power pole Now the alumina needs to go somewhere. I guess this has priority. So it will be put there. And I guess I will now reduce the number of those furnaces, producing alumina the old way. And then I can also steal those yield modules. Except I would like this to be finished. Now one extra produce. I will not do this here. Also not here. Okay. Now I want to figure out where this is going and why the alumina isn't smelted properly. Oh, this needs more carbon or graphite. What is it called? I always forget graphite. I guess that's the bottleneck at the moment. Or at least one of them. Wasn't there also another melting recipe? Okay, I can use aluminum carbide instead of graphite. 
I, I guess I always need this other process that produces this um, aluminum carbide, otherwise it wouldn't be produced anywhere. Yeah, right now that's the only way I'm producing the aluminum carbide. So I definitely need that, so I definitely also need the um, the graphite. But I think it would be better to use the aluminum carbide first in the production of aluminum ingots instead of in the production of aluminum hydroxide like it is here. So there should be a splitter and output priority right. Now I just need to find a way through this mess to produce more ingots the other way. I guess I will go left first. And maybe I'll just do this here, to the left. And I will need this new kind of furnace. Carbon monoxide, so I need to deal with that. I guess I like to produce carbon monoxide. At least I hope so. And I need to deliver alumina as well. Which I have a lot of, so that's not a problem. I guess now I should think about doing something like this. Okay, the machines get energy. Oops. Now I just need to let the ingots get out. Now I have more ingots, hopefully, for some time. Okay. 
another research was done. I wonder how much I will still need this old method. I guess if I can, I should replace all of them. Obviously, this depends on me having enough water, so... Maybe I should leave a few of them, just in case. Would like this to be finished. And remove this, however. Oops, I destroyed something. Okay, this is done. And now I will place those yield modules in these machines. And I have two left over. Those are just foundry level one. I guess I might replace those as well. Although there is also another recipe probably now for these aluminum sheets or plates. Pickled. So caustic solution results in wastewater. I should do that. There's caustic solution and wastewater was something uh, somewhere. I guess I can connect it there. So let's just turn this off for a moment. Replace the recipe. I guess at some point I should move all of this to some other place where I have caustic solution and wastewater available because there were some other recipes for that too. Now it picked up the belts in between, it's a bit weird. Sometimes it does that, sometimes not. I don't know if this kind of inserter is good enough. Might not be. Let's take the better one. And then I need to build the output pipes. Great. I guess now we have some more efficient aluminum production, even if it's not perfect yet. I think that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching.